who can defeat the EST of WWE? Bianca Belair has been a dominant Raw Women's Champion and there have only been a few believable opponents that could beat her. Bianca Belair was the shining light of the women's division throughout 2022, becoming Raw Women's Champion at WrestleMania 38. Belair would have a stellar year, though the question needs to be asked as to who should be the woman to dethrone her. I am the Wrestling Guy and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we ask the question, who will be the one to dethrone the EST of WWE? Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for weekly wrestling content. Becky Lynch To many, Becky Lynch has become the biggest women's wrestling star in the world, and many see her as being the biggest women's wrestling star in WWE history. Due to a strong connection with the fans, incredible charisma, great in-ring skills, and the ability to play heel and babyface well, Becky has become the pinnacle of what WWE looks for in a talent. While it would likely be unpopular to many to see Becky defeat Bianca once again, if the company doesn't have any other challengers in mind, then she is a reliable choice as the Raw Women's Champion. She doesn't seem like the likely choice, but it's hard to ever bet against the man. Asuka A name that has been a curious one in recent months is the former WWE Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka. After going through a character change, she would eventually appear on TV with new face paint, leading fans to expect that this could be a much edgier and darker Asuka. With Asuka being one of the best women's wrestlers alive, there are a few choices better than her to lead the women's division on Raw. And with the character change, she could become a very compelling choice to defeat Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship in 2023. Asuka would face off against Bianca Belair at WrestleMania 39 and unfortunately wasn't victorious. However, with events such as Night of Champions and Money in the Bank approaching, what's next for the Empress of Tomorrow? Shayna Baszler it's hard to believe that the Queen of Spades hasn't won a singles title on the main roster yet, however there's still time for this to happen. There are so many potential avenues that they could choose to go down if they chose to push Shayna as a title contender. Shayna is another obvious option to move across to the red brand in the draft, and I think she would benefit massively from this. She also managed to defeat Bianca Belair in a singles match already in NXT, and they could play on this story massively as part of the storyline. I can envision the heel babyface dynamic working perfectly, and with the growth that both these women have gone through over the years, this could be a groundbreaking match for both of these women's careers and for the future of women's wrestling in WWE. Charlotte Flair Charlotte Flair is one of the most decorated female superstars of all time. She's held the Raw, SmackDown and NXT Women's Championships along with the Women's Tag Team titles and she has also headlined several premium live events including many WrestleManias. The Queen lost her SmackDown Women's Championship to Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania in arguably the greatest women's wrestling match of all time. Fans are itching to see what is next for Flair and with the draft just a few weeks away, could we see the Queen return to the red brand? Bianca Belair and Charlotte have had a handful of recorded matches on both Raw and NXT, however they've yet to have a fully fleshed out rivalry. If Charlotte Flair were to jump across to the red brand, it could pave the way for a proper feud between these two super athletes. Bailey. In my opinion, Bailey is the most obvious choice of a challenger for Bianca Belair to drop the title to. I think I speak on behalf of a lot of wrestling fans when I say this change should have happened a lot sooner. She fits the role for a number of important reasons, not least of which is that she feuded with Belair multiple times already and hasn't been able to pick up the strap since her return. With the rumour of a potential split of damage control, the worry is what's going to happen to Bailey after this point. This choice is highly unlikely to happen as rumours heavily suggest Bailey is looking to take some time off from WWE. However, I still feel that having Bailey prove she can beat Belair would be a great option for them to consider. EO Sky, one of my absolute favourites and my top pick to dethrone the EST. EO Sky has made a huge name for herself in the WWE. She is a former NXT Women's Champion and multi time Women's Tag Team Champion. Ever since her arrival on the main roster with her fellow damage control teammates Bailey and Dakota Kai, I have suspected big things for the genius of the Sky. As the rumours of a split of the group, I can see this as a prime opportunity to push Sky to the stratosphere. She was a rising talent in the company and a hot favourite for women in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. She would be a great option to produce thrown in the EST, and I believe she could really help to carry the women's division forward as a rising talent in the company. Bianca Belair has rarely been best in singles competition, with very few women having the distinction of beating her in WWE. She has held the Raw Women's Championship for over 370 days, and there is no glimpse of her stopping soon. 
As always guys, this list is only my opinion. With the strengths of the women's division in WWE at the moment, there are plenty of other options that could have been included. If you guys did enjoy this video and would like to see more videos like this one here on the channel, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please also go back and check some of our other awesome videos out on the channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.